I am Phoebe, this is the Backlog Quest and I have just completed another item from my Backlog which is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This is a recent addition to my Backlog. I got it when it came out on Blu-ray. I did plan to see the movie when it was at the theatres but I missed it when it was at my local theatre and I did not want to travel to see Star Wars so I ended up missing this movie. This is a movie I wanted to watch straight away when I got it, but I had other priorities that came first, so I've only just got to it now. This will contain spoilers for The Rise of Skywalker. If you're like me and don't like spoilers, this is your time to leave. I'm not actually sure how I managed to avoid spoilers for so long. I've actually got 30 videos in my playlist from creators that I love listening to on YouTube saved up to watch after I have finished reviewing this movie. I didn't go into the movie fully blind even though I managed to avoid a lot of spoilers and I knew a lot of people had been disappointed by this movie but overall I found it a fun movie and I enjoyed it a lot more than the prequel movies and some of the other movies that I've seen in recent years so as far as this movie goes, I found it an enjoyable Star Wars movie and I want more of it. The saddest part of the movie for me was when Leia passed away. It's like I knew it was coming because Carrie Fisher's passed away and I was so sad when she passed away. I love Star Wars. I love Princess Leia. I love Luke. I love Han and having them all dead was a little bit disappointing but I knew that was where the storyline was going right from the start. I wanted more Star Wars with those three characters but I've always got the books that came out before these for these movies were a thing so I need to go read more of them with the adventures of Luke and Leia and Han after everything that happened in the books that Disney no longer consider canon. I've read some of them they are a lot of fun in their own way and these movies are fun in their own way as well. My favourite character in the movies has been Kylo Ren. I've liked seeing his journey from evil to good. Well, not really good, but evil from evil to not exactly evil anymore. And my favourite moment with him in the movie was when Leia passed away and he sensed his mother's passing and he just stopped and Rey didn't stop quite in time to stop her attack and her healing him afterwards but just seeing that he still cared for his mother after all this time and after everything he'd done was just I loved that moment my least favorite moment in the movie is when he died because I didn't want him to die I wanted him to have a slow redemption because he hasn't been forgiven yet it was just but it felt like they were trying to do Darth Vader all over again making that decision that changed everything and helped the side of good and then passed away and I liked that with Vader but I didn't want that with Kylo he still had a life ahead of him he still had so much to do so that was my least favorite part of the movie and part of me is hoping he's not really dead I did like that he healed Rey I don't know whether she was dead for a moment and he brought her back but I liked that moment but I didn't like that he died after that, that he essentially gave up his life force for her. I had the most fun watching C-3PO in this movie with him going, oh, I know how to read Sith, but I can't tell you it because it's against my programming to tell you about this translation that we really, really need. And then him getting his mind wiped and not knowing everyone and then getting his memory back from... Uh, uh, a backup that R2-D2 had. I was like, I knew R2-D2 would have the backup, but I just loved C-3PO's one-liners. They were a lot of fun to listen to, and he was one of my favourites to listen to in the older movies as well. Um, R2-D2 has always been my favourite robe overall, but C-3PO is just fun. I love the pair of them. I wanted another movie with Palpatine after it was revealed that he was still alive. Um, and having him actually win in this movie. That is what I really wanted when I saw him there because I think it would have been fun to watch Rey and Kylo both lose to him but somehow escape with their lives and then having to work together for longer to defeat him, not... I wanted that part to go longer. 
I wanted them to lose. I wanted another movie. Though I did want the space fleet to win the battle against the um, Sith's fleet because I wanted Palpatine to win against Rey and Kylo, but I wanted the space fleet to win against the rest of the army. That's what I wanted, but that's not what we got. I was not expecting to see Harrison Ford in the movie again, but I really loved the little bit with him and Kylo. And I liked seeing the little bits of flashbacks between Luke and Leia when they were younger with Luke training Leia to be a Jedi, though it was a little bit weird seeing CGI versions of young them fighting. It was nice seeing Lando again and him recruiting some of the older fighters for the big battle. It's like them popping up out of nowhere and seeing faces that I recognized from the previous movies in the crowd of people that they flashed to. That was fun. But yeah, like I said, for me, this was just a fun movie. I want more Star Wars, so yeah, I can see myself watching this movie again. I want to eventually do a rewatch with all the Star Wars movies in one go, but I'm not sure when I'll get to that yet because I want to reduce what's actually in my backlog a bit more first. And I've got another movie for next week, which is once again, another recent edition. This one is Gemini Man with Will Smith. And I know nothing at all about the movie Gemini Man. I bought it because it was in a, a two for um, a reduced price. And it was the only movie that appealed to me that was in that price range. I could not find anything else that I actually wanted. So I pretty much bought this movie blind. So I'll find out shortly whether I enjoy it or not. Thank you for joining me with another item reduced from my backlog.